Welcome back to Rad JBI. I'm JB. Today we're including you guys on test fitting some new parts that we just got in and I'm really excited. So we have the JBI Titanium Pro Perch that we released earlier this year and that was for the KYV and Showa models. And a very common question we got was, do you have a version of that available for the WP Cone Valve Forks? and the WP Exact Pro and Explore Pro forks. The answer at the time was that is in development. Now the answer is we have our first prototype here and I'm gonna involve you guys as we check it out to see if everything fits as we designed it and if I overlooked anything, but I'm hoping everything fits exactly as it should and works as it should and let's check it out. So on this table right here, we have the OEM WP spring tube and then next to it, we have what will configure into our JBI Pro Perch assembly. Now, the way the OEM spring tube works is the oil flows through the center and it's going to come out these holes that are around it. If we make these holes smaller in size, this tube's gonna be more restrictive. So it's gonna make the forks harder to bottom out. If we increase the size of the holes, the, this tube will be less restrictive. So the fork will be easier to bottom out. For reference, a spring perch in a Showa or KYB fork looks like this. The spring would rest directly underneath these items right here. So you can see quite a difference in design between what comes in Showa and KYB forks and what comes in the WP cone valve or Exact Pro damping cartridges. So here's what our JBI Titanium Pro Perch looks like for the Showa and KYB versions. Again, I'm showing you this, so that way you have a reference. And the first thing I wanna check is our pieces. So here's our JBI spring tube. As you can see, it lacks really any holes. We got a couple of vents up here. Reason being is our tube is no longer going to be part of the damping element, meaning that's not going to be giving us any damping. It is strictly a spacer. So here's our tube we're gonna put right there. These are gonna be our adapters. So that way we can fit our pro perch with this. So here's our adapters. We got a cool little O-ring groove inside of that, which I'll talk about later. So let's fit these into our tube. Oh. Ooh, nice little sit fit, and that's what we want. We want this to easily come apart for disassembly. So, so far we're looking good on that. And here's our other adapter ring for our pro perch. Think of this red ring as this brown piece up here. So we're gonna fit this into here. A little loose, so I think we're gonna have to bond this when it comes to uh, assembly time. And we make new ones of these, we'll probably change the diameter a little bit for more of a press fit. But for right now, it's gonna work well and we can definitely bond the two together. So let's slide this on top. And then let's check it next to this one. And it looks like we have the exact same height between the two. So that's one of the first key parts I wanted to verify that it was going to be the same exact height. Easier said than done, especially when you're modeling up and designing a few components at one time, it's easy to overlook some small details. I'm guilty of that happening. As of right now, everything's looking like it's fitting really, really well. So what I have next to me here is a WP Exact Pro cartridge, AKA cone valve cartridge. So I got it in our fixture. It's not really mounted up tight. We're gonna take this out and start test fitting some parts. Now, earlier I talked about how the oil flows through the inside of the OEM tube. Well, it's not gonna flow through the inside of our red tube. Instead, I got this O-ring right here. We're gonna slide this up here and onto our cartridge. Now, the next piece we're gonna put on is our tube. So again, the oil will flow through the inside of this tube and outside of these holes. This tube is gonna be providing us no damping resistance at all. It's strictly a spacer. So let's slide this on next. Oh, awesome, it fits inside of here. So our preload adjuster is still going to work exactly as it should. And we got some vents up here. So that way our free piston assembly and cartridge can still vent off any additional oil or pressure they may build up inside of it. So next, let's shift focus to our O-ring and this tube. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal this tube off from any oil entering. And here's how we're gonna do that. We got these two half moon washers with a nice O-ring groove on the inside. So I'm gonna line up this groove right with this O-ring. 
awesome. And now I'm going to do this one handed, grab the other one. Again, we got a nice O-ring groove cut out and we're going to fit that right there. Beautiful. That's going to slide up into here. We're looking good, you guys. I'm really fucking excited. So what that does is this creates a nice seal. So that way no oil is going to go into here. Any oil that comes in the top will X outside of these vent holes right here. And you can see the very top of this piece. So that way any oil that collects will pull out. It can't collect and pull up in there. Next, it will be installing the Pro Perch itself. So we got our red adapter on there. Slide this from the bottom. And that's going to fit right into there. Now when this perch engages the oil, all of the damping is going to go through the inside and through our pressure sensitive titanium valve or titanium pro perch. It, it'll work very similar as our JBI, KYB and Showa versions. So again, this tube is no longer giving us any damping resistance. We're doing it all through here. And essentially this are all the pieces we need to utilize in order to make this fit. I'm psyched because Again, these are the first articles we got and it looks like so far everything is fitting perfect and that almost is not usually the case. I was expecting at least one of these pieces to maybe be off a little bit, but it looks like everything's perfect. So we are going to assemble these forks, get them on my bike. And then what we do have is we have another set of cone forks built to the exact same spec, but with the OEM tubes in there. So we're gonna test these back to back and share with you guys the feedback. If I'm a guessing and a betting man, I think these are gonna be the favorite fork because of the improved bottoming resistance. And with these, we're gonna be able to run less oil in the outer chamber of the fork. Meaning this is going to engage the oil a lot lower in the travel than it would normally. So it's gonna make the forks feel a lot smoother. If you previously have experience with our Pro Perch and the Showa or KYB forks, you will be familiar with this because those also we can utilize a lot less oil in them compared to stock while maintaining much better bottoming resistance than the stock setup. We're going to get this installed in this fork and get the other one apart. And then in a week or so, we'll start sharing with you guys our feedback and our testing. Thank you for watching. <laughs>